So right now we're opening this light that I got to get good lighting for y'all. Lena thinks it's Christmas. Okay, so three hours later the light is up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Jesus himself has come to... I'm just kidding. I don't know. Damn, my phone's sticky. I'm just kidding. I used to always tell Lance, you guys, that he looks like... I feel like Lance looks like a mixture between black Jesus and white Jesus. <laughs> Take out the septum and stuff, but yeah. So, the light is up. Oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. <laughs> oh, why are you pinching me? <laughs> Lazarus! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at these circles in my eyes, babe, because of this light. They hold that back? No. What? Candy is not good for your teeth. Yes, it is. Really? Okay. Close the door. Are you okay? Hi, guys. So, we just got home from um, Tempe. I had to go to the mall. With some Terry Cox. But anyways. Oh, where do you have those? Speaking of that, I, we're going to talk about Jesus. God is so good. But let me tell you all something. Okay. At the kiosk in the mall in Tempe, they have these super soft, like, gummy bears. What'd you get, babe? Show them. Show the people I'm, of the I'm world. i too far away. Oh, don't worry. I got, I got your back. The, I got the watermelons, the Swedish fish, the gummy bears, and some gum. All together, so that would be weird. I got, look at these gummies. We got the peanuts. We accidentally spent like $30. I don't know what happened. It's just those samples started coming one at a time. Next thing you know, I, she was like, your total is. I'm like, oh. But anyways, okay, so, oh, and we had Johnny Rocket for the first time. Tell them, babe, how was it for you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, basically, it was the bomb. It was so fresh. Everybody that's watching this that knows us, why didn't y'all tell us Johnny Rocket was so like who who are we I, i'm starting to rethink all of my friendships and they had like the endless basket of fries I mean, oh yes and and the um what is it called what is it i got a shake and then they brought me the shake and then they brought me the cup they made the shake in i'm like okay but back to jesus so basically today i just wanted to make a quick okay just put it down baby why are they doing the cha cha sign? That's hilarious. Okay. okay. Our channel is probably frequently going to always be interrupted because we have three beautiful children. But, anyways, we wanted to talk today about how do you hear from God, right? We're just talking about our personal experiences, just us. So, you want to start? Okay. Especially with that juicy piece of gum in your mouth. Oh my God. For me, my mom used to tell me, like, God will speak to you, or I grew up in a Baptist church, I would hear it all the time, like, God will speak to you, um, blah, not blah, 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 but you know what I mean. And so when I was younger, I would always think, like, oh, like, God is gonna, like, how is he gonna speak to me? Like, I just never knew what that meant. So if you're a new believer or you are new in your relationship with Christ, I just wanted to express to you what it was for me and the first time that I heard God or for me it was felt God and um yeah so for me I was 16 years old and I was pregnant with Elena wait was I 16 I was 17. No, I was 17 I was 17 and I was pregnant with Elena and Lance was still after me I don't know what that was about even though I was pregnant but no I'm just kidding no, <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway then she got pregnant. I oh wow <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. This has got to be quick because it's light. So anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. We're trying to make a video. What video? Daddy, We're trying to make a video. Seriously? Oh, look. No, Daddy, Yes. No. 
Sure. Love you guys. This is about to be quick and then we'll go in there with you. Yes? You got hurt? You're not hurt. Say hi. hi. Look at the camera. Hi. <laughs> Lazarus, turn the channel. Lazarus is like OJ the Juicy or something. Whoa. Oh. oh, mine is open. Yeah, and I told her no already. Okay, here. Out. I have to talk she, really quick. See, you see what happens? I I put my foot down, and here come Ashley. When did I hear you say no? You will never tell the people that. Excuse me. Excuse you. Okay, so take thousand okay so i was 17 years old and i was pregnant with elena and of course i was young and my mom felt how she felt of course it was hard for her it was hard for everybody so and my friends weren't pregnant at that time so i felt so alone and that was the first time that i ever ever felt god speak to me or like his presence so clearly and so for me when god first spoke to me himself I felt like and not the word sitting in church and me receiving that was I was just like crying in my bed I was like pregnant I didn't know what to expect I didn't know anything and then I just felt God's presence like a peace like even though everything was chaotic like around me I felt like a peace like it's gonna be okay and that was the first time that I felt the presence of God and his voice telling me it's going to be okay. So that was my first experience. So I was 17 years old and that was, that stuck with me forever. That was like, cause I was thinking it was going to be like a sign or like, you know, I don't know. I was just overthinking it. And then it was just the most beautiful, like soft, sweet thing. That was the first time I felt. His voice, his presence. Yeah, so I don't remember, you know, like the first time. Um, to me, like, I don't even know. But I know that, you know, ever since I can remember being a teenager, you know, I always looked for peace. I was always trying to find peace. You know, like, literally my first tattoo, you know, peace sign, like, I was always after peace, you know, and a couple of times, you know, I thought I figured it out, you know, but like for me, it wasn't until like, honestly, like last year, um, or was it last year? Last year. Dang. Okay. Re, re uncut. Oh yeah. Yeah. So like okay. that was definitely last year. I, I don't know. I'm yeah. Lost, it seems all, like longer than yeah, that. Huh? Yeah. That's what I was saying. I was like, dude, it's been two years, but no, it's been. Dang. It was definitely last year, um, and <coughs> it was like last February actually. Um, my grandma was like diagnosed with cancer, and so like I don't know, you know, like I love my grandma, you know, she, I was always very close to her. So for me, it was like a just a situation I didn't want to deal with, you know. Like I just wish it would have been gone, but. Um, in February, her body had like crashed and she was pretty much on like life support. So I just literally dropped everything and flew out there. And the whole time, like I was on the plane, I just like had this like overwhelming feel of like, everything's gonna be okay, I guess. Like no matter what happens, like, you know, I know that it's gonna be all right, honestly. But like, it's like, uh, for me, it was like, I guess like when somebody, you know, like you're very close to like growing up or like your idol or well, not your idol, but like your parents, you know, like whenever something's happening and like you're freaking out and they just like give you a hug and tell you like, yo, it's going to be all right though. Like we're going to make it through this. Um, that's how, that's pretty much what it felt like the whole entire time I was out there. And I think I was out there for like two weeks, two two weeks, 
two and a half weeks. Yeah, and he left me with all these kids. Yeah, I left her with so. the kids. I <laughs> no. had, like, you know, I, I had my I had to go. Um, no, I'm kidding. So yeah, like it was just it was just crazy and then like she she came like back, her blood platelet count was in the single digits, you know, but it got back to normal. And I actually talked to her a couple of times before I left and then um, came back. And then a couple months later, she was put on hospice and uh, she ended up passing away a couple of weeks after. But like, even when I got the news, like, you know, like, I don't, for real, like, I just wanted to like break down right there. But as soon as I start or as soon as I thought I was going to start, like, I just got that same feeling again, like, just like rushed throughout my body like yo it's okay like she's in a better place you know and like for me like that was like just one way you know because she said peace so i'm just kind of following the same route um but like that was when i really knew like something's up because like you know when you've been searching for something so simple or something that sounds so simple like peace you know your whole life and then like Come to find out you have it all twisted and like i guess i'll search for a piece of this world but like mm, ooh, preach okay yeah because um, there are two different pieces so i'm oh, sorry oh okay oh I'll just take over oh yeah but like um you know that that definitely wasn't the route to go um because that could never be found so pretty much like I don't know. I don't know. It's just crazy for real. Like the peace that he gives you. Let, let's tell them, babe. God can speak to you through people, through feelings, through situations. He can right. he speaks to you through oh ooh, yeah. Dreams. Um I've never has God ever spoken to you through a dream? Personally, though? I mean, like, not, like, personally, but, like... Yeah, me symbolic. either. Personally, I, I be having dreams. I get up on Google, like, wait, what does it mean when... No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding, but seriously. But he can speak to you through dreams. And another way... I, I've never experienced the dreams. Um, That's the only one I've never experienced. But God does give give me visions, and he can speak through those. I don't get them, like, every... You know what I mean? But he'll just, like, give me a vision. And I know it's him because it just like freaks me out, and I didn't. I know I didn't plan it, and I know it didn't come from Lance. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, any any other ways, babe? I mean, I'm sure it's plenty plenty of ways, but we're just telling you our experience so that if you oh I didn't even let you answer the question, but hold on real quick. Just sometimes it seems overwhelming, like to expect such a beautiful, you know, omnipresent spirit of god to speak to you and you're like how is this gonna happen comment below oh, oh. do i get to answer oh. i don't even remember what i asked you go ahead okay so i mean honestly like you know there's nothing like he can't do to reach you oh tell them yes i'm sorry babe <laughs> yes that's a I mean, like, for me personally, you know, it's happened a lot with, through people. And I mean, honestly, like, random people, like, I would be praying over something or, like, talking to God about something. And then, like, next thing I know, I'm running into somebody completely random that sparks up a conversation with me and says something that I was just having a conversation, you know, or praying about to God, like, Stuff like that or like um even even like something so simple as like a, a notification from the bible app one time tell them that you know me and ashley yeah we're getting into I'm it in this a story. little bit oh what oh i know what story you're talking yeah, about yeah so me and her were you know kind of getting into a little bit we were disagreeing we don't yeah get into whatever it. same difference and i decided go. that I was going to go somewhere. Like, okay, I was just going to go to the vape store, right? So, I <laughs> go ahead. Huh? 
Like, no, no, that was just so funny because you tried at first. You was like, I yeah, I was gonna go, go somewhere, somewhere, and then I was like, yeah, no, like that sounds bad. So I know, just tell. I was about to just go to the vape store, right? Because I'm like, I'm leaving. I'm out. You know, I'm gonna go play some pool with the homies at the vape store. But you know, like, I kid you not. You know, I set my I set my alarm for the Bible notification for like the morning time, so I wake up to it. But this is like, I don't know, four, five in the afternoon. I literally go grab the door handle to the garage, and I get a notification. It was some uh, some verse to tell me pretty much like, go say I'm sorry and repent for the sin or like repent of my sins and ask for forgiveness, right? And I'm like, no, nope. you know, put the phone right back in my pocket, get on my motorcycle, and I literally get like two blocks down and some chick runs a red light and comes to a complete stop in the middle of the street to do a U-turn right after the intersection. Like, well, she didn't run the red light. She was turning, but she did like a wide turn to a complete stop to do a U-turn. I'm doing like 50, 60 miles an hour through the intersection. Um, but I definitely like rear-ended her on my motorcycle. Um, I mean, I was okay. You know, like I just broke my toe, but like that was it. Broke my toe. Yeah, like broken toes ain't really nothing. But like you know, it was just crazy because like if I would have, you know, stopped and went and told Ashley like I'm sorry, you know, like asked her for her forgiveness, like I would have never been in that situation. So I mean, well that's true. So but I guess to me like that was like a, I don't know, like that was like a sign, like bro, like chill out. Go ahead, go, you know, tell your wife you're sorry for acting wild or whatever, like whatever the situation was. But I'm, you know, stubborn. So I'm like, no, not happening today. And then you're not stubborn. Five you're minutes later, you know, I get an accident. And I mean, honestly, like, that could have been really bad, you know. I only had my helmet on and some gloves. I didn't I really wasn't wearing gear or nothing. Um so I was just leaving it in a hurry, you know. But like Honestly, he can speak to you through, like, anything. Oh, this chair is definitely going to break. Mine? No, this one. Why? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What are you doing? What? I was just... I need to show... I didn't know if my lips were going to Oh, my gosh. So, I'm telling stories and you over here. No, I was just... I'm going to edit me out. Oh. I got this. But I don't... I, no, oh, you, my story's over with. You know, basically, like, that you was know, a good point, though, but he, he isn't limited in any way. You know, he can reach you by any means, you know. just You just need to have discernment, you know, to make sure, like, that that is something from God. You know, that that's in his will and, like, has the attributes of him, you know. So, yeah, like and subscribe and comment the first time that you felt God's presence or heard from God because we would just love to hear it. And we're so excited to do more to build the kingdom and just to reach out and connect with people um, just like us who are here to basically, you know, spread the good news all over the place up until God calls us to rest. So love you guys. Good night and go eat at Johnny Rockets. Awesome. Like, share, subscribe to win a bag. Uh -uh. <laughs> These are actually gummy worms. By the time you know, that's hilarious. Yeah, right. They can have yours. <laughs>